Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Gifts Egrinu. Obviously, you could you already know you can already tell if this is your first time here. I'm so happy to have you join me for another video. Thank you so much for always watching my video. It means a lot to me. Anyway, today's video is going to be different. It's not a technical video, it's me reviewing um some technical books, some tech books that I've read this year, 2020. So it's a book review video. Great. I had a goal at the beginning of 2020 to read 20 books by the end of the year. Coming from somewhere that I did not really care about meeting all those type of goals, like read 50 books in a year kind of thing. I started doing that this year and I'm so happy to share that at this as i'm making this video i'm at 18 books so i've read 18 books so i have two more books to go and it's not even the end of the year yet so yay even though <laughs> i feel like it's not a very big thing to celebrate i very much feel happy about it so some of the books that i read are fiction and some are also tech technical books so i'd like to review four out of those books that are technical books four or three i don't know but we'll see in the course of the video the reason why i am doing this is because i want to share what i first of all what i enjoyed about reading this book what i've learned so like tips that i can share off the top of my head from reading these books and yeah actually sharing some links so if you'd like to read them as well I'll share some links for you and maybe I have like towards the end of the video a surprise for you if you're interested that kind of thing but yeah let's get right into the video so the first book that I would like to start with is the developer guide to content creation by Stephanie Morillo I hope I pronounced that name right but she's really amazing I bought the book when it was released early earlier in the year around january ish i'm not sure if that is correct but this book is gold because at the point when i when i first um, found out about the book on twitter before it was released i found out that i haven't really seen any resource out there that is really targeted at content creators technical content creators that, that, that what i mean like technical writers so if you write technical articles right so most of the time i have basically just written technical articles with the knowledge that i created for myself right and from following other people that already do it right but this was a resource that is going to walk you through the beginning to the end of technical content creation so i felt like wow this is going to be a nice book to check out and i pre-ordered it and i was not disappointed because the book really had a lot to share a lot of tips to share regarding content creation and um, my key takeaway from this book was the fact that she also had actionable worksheets included in the book so basically as you're going through each chapter any chapter that has a exercise or any exercise you can actually um, download the worksheets and go through that that is really great because it's not just you reading a book you're also applying the knowledge that you're getting from reading that book and even up to now when i write technical articles some of those tips that i learned from her just stuck and i just generally use it in my process for creating content so i really really give this book a thumbs up i also rated it on goodreads if you don't know what goodreads is goodreads is an application for um people that are interested in reading books yeah goodreads is an application where you can actually review books that you've read so i gave this book an amazing review because i really enjoyed reading it i would i'll put a link to the book down below so if you also interested in technical writing and you want to get this book definitely recommend that you check it out now moving on to the next book that i've read tech book specifically that i've read this year it is called accessibility for everyone and it's by laura kalbag laura kalbag i hope i don't butcher these people's names but it's by laura kalbag this book was really helpful when i needed it i 
I think in July, around June, July, I was preparing for an accessibility talk and I did lots, I did lots and lots of research to be able to give that talk. So during that research, I came across this book, Accessibility for Everyone, and I felt like it would be a great thing for me to actually read the book so that I can as well um, take knowledge from a very seasoned accessibility expert and apply it to my talk. So that was exactly what I did. I read this book in about a week, I guess, and I learned so much from this book. I learned so much that I even did not know about accessibility at the at the time and it helped me um, prepare for my talk so i really enjoyed reading this book and if anyone out there is interested in learning more about accessibility as not just accessibility on the web accessibility for everyone in general like i remember reading a chapter about talking about how um comparing like accessible staircase and ramps like for like yeah uh, there was a chapter specifically talking about that, which I really found interesting. But yeah, I think this book is really great. If you're a developer specifically looking to learn more about accessibility, I would definitely recommend that you check out this book. Um, yeah. Number three, these books are not um, ordered in any specific order right i'm just seeing them out of the top of my head but these are books that i really really enjoy tech books that i really really enjoyed and this one is called this other one i'm talking about third one is called svg animations and it's by no other than sarah drasna right i really really liked this book no um there is no book or that really really explained I've, I've not read any other book right that really explained svg to me as this book did and i really enjoyed it i got this book last year as a gift from sarah thank you so much sarah <laughs> yeah and yeah i decided that at, at the point i wanted to actually learn more about svg animation how to do those cool things all those cool um animations with svg and I started reading this book. I actually went on to practice how to use GSAP. GSAP is a library for creating animations. And she talked about this in this book. So the reason why we enjoyed reading this book is because there are also practical things that you could do. So in some of the chapters, you have coding exercises and Sarah created amazing code pens that you can go and fork and just see how she did everything and also create your own like as a way to practice, right? So I did a couple of that. So in chapters where I find those code pen links, I would go to those code pen links on code pen, obviously, and just see what she's doing and try to recreate them. Even if I don't recreate them at that point while I'm reading it, I will just go through the code that she wrote and just try to understand what she's trying to do and try to understand how I can apply the knowledge that I got from that book into doing something for my own. So I remember I did a couple of small things. I won't call them very exceptional things, but I remember trying out GSAP, checking out the documentation, doing a couple of things. She did not only talk about GSAP, she generally, this book is about SVG, right? So she butchered the whole SVG thing from the beginning of what SVG is down to how to do animations with it. And yeah, also touched on different libraries like MoffJS that you can also use for um, SVG animations and D3 and the rest. So yeah i really recommend if you're going to be learning about svg this is one book you should get really this is a book you should definitely check this out next book i feel like i'm hyping these books like i'm hyping i'm really hyping these books because i really really enjoyed enjoyed reading all of them now this next book is like i don't feel like i have finished it yet I have gone through every chapter, but it's, it's going to be like a resource for me every time that I will definitely always go back to check or go back to read a specific chapter just when I need to gather knowledge in at that specific point because it's, uh, it's that good. So this book is called The Coding Career Handbook and it's by Sean Wang Sweets on Twitter. Sean is, is an amazing writer, like a lot of things are packed in this book. I think it's around 600 pages or so 
or more or less i am not sure but the way i read this book is actually different from the way i would usually read other books because it's packed with like you know how you get into rabbit holes that you cannot come out from that is how this book is like the first chapter talking about different um developer levels there are different links like in a page alone you could see like 10 different links taking you to different great resources that you would that would even captivate your 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 attention that you don't forget that you're reading a book i would that was me a couple of times because i was just going to those links so what i would do in every chapter is uh it, the great thing is after like after reading for like two chapters i discovered that there is also a bibliography for this book basically a pdf with all the links in the book that you can just go back to read at any point in time i didn't know this but i was um, told and yeah i i did not still use it after a book because i thought like it's going to like take my attention out from the book while i was reading because i wasn't reading a physical book mind you for all of these books they were not physical books they were pdfs and i reading pdfs and physical books they are totally different like reading a pdf book could easily distract me if i switch or if i leave the application so i just like to stay there read at least a chapter and then maybe go out and check out different links and then come back so it's not like physical books i don't know if other people feel the same way but that's how i feel when i'm reading um ebooks right but going back to the coding career handbook this book is a very good resource for anybody like if you're a beginner developer, a mid-level developer, a senior engineer, everybody has something to take away from this book. Now, I really, I really like that he divided this book into different, different um, sections. The first um, part of the book talks about the career guide, so how you can go from code newbie to a junior developer to a senior developer. Then he also talked about principles like how you can learn in public, which is a topic that I'm very, very interested in. And he also talks about how to grow your network, how to grow in your career as a developer. Then there is also the strategies part. In this part, he talks about software models, different technologies and how you can go from career ladders, like different career ladders. So how you can go from this level to that level different software business models. I find that there are a lot of things here that you would typically not know as a developer, but I learned them just by reading this book. And then the last um, section, which, which is called tactics, this involves like self-contained skills that you can actually read without... Okay, another great thing that I really like about this book is you can read the book any way you please. Like, it's not important that you read chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. You can go ahead and read the one that really speaks to you. So if it's how to grow your career, um, you can go and check out that chapter. Or if it's negotiating salary, because there is a chapter called negotiating your salary. If that is just what you want to read at that point, you can go there and read it. So I really like that this book does not follow any any definite um, process or uh, you can decide to read it however you please yeah there is also how to be how to network how to like push yourself out there how to build a personal brand these are all topics that i really, really enjoy talking about so i'm really glad that i was able to get a lot of things from this book by sean so if you also want to learn more about this book i'll also leave a link in the description so please check them out I know that I said that I was only going to review three to four books, but this is like book five, right? This book is really great. It's a really great resource that I feel also feel like was needed for a lot of developers. And thank, thanks to Emma for creating this book. It is called Decoding the Technical Interview Process, and it's by Emma Bos Bosnian. Bosnian? Bosnian? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But Emma created this book and i was lucky enough to have um to read this book and also give a review for it which i would definitely show you all because i'm petty like that i okay it's not here but anyway emma um, book was really really helpful for me when i was doing technical interviews so she does um, share a lot about technical interviews from the, what the process is like from 
sending in your resume to having like the first call with uh, a recruiter to our different data structures and algorithm that you need to know when you're preparing for an interview to different HTML, CSS and other questions. So this book is actually packed. I also really enjoyed and learned a, a lot, a lot actually from reading this book by Emma. So I am not so sure if the book is still selling at the moment, but I would definitely look for a link and also add to the other links that I said I would add in the description box. So this book is also very like, if I was to rate it, I think I already rated it on um, Goodreads, but obviously five over five for this book. And finally, the last book that I want to talk about is called Refactoring UI. If you're a front-end developer, you might have heard about this book. Thank you so much to the authors for creating this book, Adam and Steve. Like this book is something you would think that you don't need, but you actually need it. This book basically teaches you how to design amazing UIs yourself. You don't have to be a designer to actually know how to do great UIs. So this book explains how to design UI from a developer point of view. So think about color, typography, spacing, everything that you need to know to design great applications, great UIs. Everything was explained deeply in this book and I really, really liked reading it. I feel like I also need to go back to read it again. That's something about me, right? I, yeah, you sometimes read something, right? And you find out that there is a point in time that you need that knowledge at that, at that point. And you remember that, oh, I have access to a book that actually talks about this thing specifically. So you, I would go back and read it. So I feel like that time is going to come for me very soon. But yeah, this is an amazing resource for people, developers that are not very um, great designers, but they like to design very good UI. So this book is going to show you tips, design tips that you can apply to your application that would help you build amazing UI. So definitely check it out. I would also leave a link like the others. Thank you so much for watching. These are five, six, six books that I've read this year out of the 18 that I've read that are technical books that I, I really enjoyed and I've reviewed for you. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned, please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think or what you thought about it after reading it. And also, if you have any recommendations, I'm always open to new book um, recommendations. Also, leave a comment in the section, in the comment section, and you'll see my next video.